didn't get lost. We didn't have a whole lot of traffic problems. So hopefully if our speedo was right and I drove correctly, we got a pretty good score. Uh, we think we did pretty good. We ain't sure. We're gonna find out tonight when we hit, hit the end, but we think we did pretty good so far. Uh, it's a little tricky. Well, it, as the event progresses, they get a little trickier. So we're having a good time. City, Michigan. All they're doing is riding around in the 1970s. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Let me see those. There you go. Wait, isn't it the funnest, hard thing you ever done? I guess we'll be back. Good. All righty. Thank you, sir. Go on up, guys. Thanks. Here we are at the end of day eight on the 2019 Hemings Motor News Great Race presented by Haggerty. And for the first time, we've had back-to-back -back winners. They've also won three times on this year's race. They're in first place overall. Doug and Howard Sharp in their 1916 Hudson Pikes Peak Hill Climber. One day left, about 150 miles to the finish line. If you guys can hold it together, maybe you're gonna to be taking home the grand championship. The bird. 
Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Well, how'd it go? Well, well, we got a good score. It's always better if you do everything you're supposed to do and then John Klassen hands you a really good score. You go, oh, okay, well, I guess I followed it to the way I needed to follow it today. This was afternoon was tough. Yeah. The morning was pretty simple, but the afternoon was, we discussed it, it was like a, it was like a rally at, at Joplin where you're just really working it hard all day long and there was stuff coming at you real fast. It's, it sped up really fast. I mean, you weren't casual going down the road. It was like bam, 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 bam. I mean, it was pretty quick. So, yeah. But we pulled it out. John, John has a, John Klassen, the rally director, really comes up with some really interesting stuff. You look at the sheet of paper and go, well, that seems pretty easy. And then you come into the intersection, you go, huh, well, that was a lot more difficult than what it said, go 30 and then go to 35 and then, hey, just go down to 20, like no problem. And it's like turn and might be straight uphill or downhill and then like a stop and then you're going back like this. I mean, he really does. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. Dad made the comment today. He goes, it's just find the roads and then just drive them and realize that there are so many really cool back roads to see on, across country. Um, it's pretty incredible to be able to be a part of that and in the old car at the same time. Car's doing great. Car, car's happy still. We're, <laughs> we're going to give it a one big push gonna, tomorrow. Yep. and We push this car harder than we've ever pushed it, though. It's We've, we've, we've had good results by kind of beating on it, I guess, would be my comment, which I don't like to do. He drives hard, Driver, and that's how you can get a good score. Driving hard. That's all.